I, I've been trying to dive into the Ultra Universe in general. Like, I've, I've started with, like, even though this is not really the best place to start, but I was just fascinated by it. Like, Ultra Q, I've watched I a lot Q. of. Because um, it's just, because it's, it's fun. Ultra it's, Q, it's, it's Twi- a fun Twilight show. Zone with giant monsters. Yeah, it, it's fun. Um, but I've also dipped my foot into the Ultraman anime that happened recently. Uh, I haven't watched too much of it. I'm not going to say, like, I've watched a lot of it. Because, and I'm going to kind of get to that. Um, we mentioned before the Godzilla anime, how that was a 3D anime. The Ultraman one is two, and it's a little rougher around the edges. I've heard um, that as well. It's a little rougher. around. Like, the first episode shows the main character as a kid, and, like, he, uh, he, he straight up looks like a goblin. <laughs> like, he looks like a weird goblin like mutant kid which i mean that's kind of the plot of the show because it, it follows he's it follows the original Ultraman show. not that he's oh not that he's a goblin yo that'd be a fucking <laughs> twist um no that uh because the, the ultraman anime it, it's actually a direct follow-up to the original series really i did not know where that. It, it follows it follows the main character from the original series as like an older man and he has a son Ooh. and his contact with ultraman was I forgot the phrase they used for like like Ultraman lived through the main character, and after Ultraman left, he lost his memories, but he still had like strength, like he still had superhuman strength, and that transferred onto his kid. So the 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 series is following the kid, like he gets an Ultraman suit and everything, and they're fighting off and they're fighting off an alien um, alien monster who's very similar to Ultraman, and th- that's as far as I've gotten so far. And like it's definitely I think its strongest point works with its action. There's some camera work that I had some kind of problems with where it got too shaky. And, like, I'm not even a big, like, oh, I hate shaky cam during action sequences. But this was, like, the the bad example of it, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. sometimes. Mm-hmm. I want to watch more, though. I want to keep watching it and, like, go through it. Because I, I like that suit. I like the suit, I... to it, too. Like, I, I've grown to really like that suit. I well, suit, like suit, Ultra 7. <laughs> Ultra 7 gets, like, super gory for no reason at all. Is that the one it's with the... super the... violent. <laughs> I don't remember if this was an Ultraman villain or a Gamera villain. Uh, Kaiju with a big knife head and he, like, chops off a, a another... Okay, yeah, you're thinking okay. of Gueron. Um, yeah, yes. Thank you. Well, it, it, it's <laughs> I, I really funny. Ultraman and and I can tell you the story behind that. Um, yeah. But no, that's it, always been something that Toho shied away from. Was was that gore? Mm-hmm. But for some reason, in Ultra Seven, which I believe came out in sixty eight, sixty nine, they went balls to the wall with gore on that, and it's brutal. More so than yeah. most of that era of Ultraman, because even if you watch a uh, Ultraman Jack, aka the Return of Ultraman, which I have seen in full, that's like the only yeah. Ultraman show I've seen in full. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do know why. Because Ashiro Honda directed several episodes of that show. Uh, but that show does not have anything crazy for gore in it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely like another thing that's like driving me to want to watch through Ultra because they've been released. I for, forget what company is releasing them right Mill now, Creek. but they've been releasing great yep. Mill Creek. Great Blu ray sets for Ultra for the Ultra series. And like I really appreciate that. I'm glad that they released them all. Did they release Ultra Q? Uh, Ultra, oh yeah, Ultra Q's yeah. out. I had that one. That, that one I had. Because what uh, I have, they, they actually are, are the Ultraman Japanese Tarot. Rips. I think is the recent. one. I have Japanese rips. Yeah. Of, the, of it, so I didn't Ult- need to. The recent one that either came out or is coming out very soon, Ultraman Tarot, is the next one that's apparently coming that's, out or it is out. From everything I've read about that movie, apparently, that movie is, or that show is just insane. Really? I, I think Taro is the one that went just insane. I'm, I'm legit. I'm curious as fuck now. I have not. There's a great series of videos on YouTube that I highly recommend, and it's called Ultraman Without Context. And it, I have that's that's how I discovered Ultra yes. Q. <laughs> that is how I discovered yes. Ultra Q. And it's it's he the the person went through every single Ultraman series and, and did that <laughs> and. I think Taro is Ultraman Taro the one with the guy with the weird horns. I think it is. I, oh, I think oh, it is. Ultraman Taro himself has the horns. Yes. He looks kind of like a Viking. Yeah, I think it is. Look at this shit. What the fuck? See. 
All, all the <laughs> Ultramans are being crucified. I have no idea what the fuck's going on in this scene. But, like, if you see a still of that, what the fuck? We got some, like, Evangelion shit going on here. It's like, it's like, it's like a cursed image right there. <laughs> like, you know, like, like cursed images. <laughs> like... I've always, I've seen that image forever, and I'm like, <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> yeah, and like also, I want to add because it's Super Rare Productions. Um, with these Mill Creek releases of Ultraman, I, I want to believe that we'll get like a release of Gridman, but I don't think it'll happen because Gridman's a little more obscure in comparison to Ultraman here. Gridman was live action originally, wasn't it? Yeah, it was live action originally, and it's actually no. it's interesting because there was there was an American adaptation of Gridman, um, that was actually. Yes headed by Super Rai Productions too. Lucas, I want Space what? Giants to get released. What? What's oh. Space? I don't know that one. Behold! Oh! Oh, fuck, I have seen this guy. I don't Space remember. I have not watched Giants. it. I have seen that guy. <laughs> fuck yeah, let's get Space I Giants. I want Goldar. <laughs> Wait, his name's Goldar? Name Goldar. <laughs> That's fucking... We're back to Power Rangers, boy. I want... Look at that guy. Like... <laughs> His fucking Fabio yeah, here. Fuck yeah. He's beautiful. Oh, I love him. <laughs> oh, I love him. Yeah, I'm sold. I, I want, want this on D... I want this... No. Fuck DVD. Blu-ray exclusive. 4K restorations. <laughs> No, it, 4K exclusive. Fuck Blu-ray. We're cutting out the middle man. <laughs> We're cutting too. out the middle man. <laughs> <laughs>